uh, and it will always be singular uh, and indefinite. It will be singular, it will be indefinite, and it will be mansub. Are you with me, Sister Sumaya? From 11 to 99, you will always see a noun which is mansub. It is indefinite, it is singular. Hmm? And that is your tamiz. Again, I tell you one more thing. From 11 to 99, the madud is called tamiz. From 11 to 99, the madud uh, is called tamiz because it is mansub. Uh, it is called Mansub. Are you all listening to me? The Tamiz is always Mansub. Okay. And then brothers and sisters, from 3 to 10, the Madud is Mudafili, Majroor. So it is Majroor. And from 11 to 99, it is Mansub. Are you with me? And then from 3 to 10, it is Majroor, are you with me? Tola bin, okay? So from 11 to 99, we call it Tamiz. Padarsan, from 11 to 99, the noun which is Mansub, which is Madud, is called Tamiz. Then what shall we call 3 to 10? But Tamiz. <laughs> This was a joke told to me by Dr. Abdurrahim himself. <laughs> From 3 to 10, it should have been Mansub. Huh? But it became Majroor. Why did it become Majroor? Because it is Batamis. <laughs> if you say 14 books, it will be Arbaata Ashara Kitaban. If you say 14 pens, you will say Arbaata Ashara Kalaman. If you say 14 houses, you will say Arbaata Ashara Baitan. If you say 14 boys, you will say Arbaata Ashara Waladan. Are you with me? Waladan. Okay? So that Waladan, Kitaban, Kalaman, Baitan, that is your Mansu and it is Tamiz. Okay? Ya Ali, Masmur Talibil Jadid al Jaa Amsi. Jaa is a verb, brother. He came. Huh? He came. Okay. How will you translate? No, only translation is needed. Huh, brother Abdul Samad, translate. Masmur Talibil Jadidi. What is the name of the new student who came from Amsi? Yesterday. Who came? Yesterday. Amsi is yesterday. Are you with me? So, so you, see, you can translate it. What is the name of the uh, new student, Talib al Jadidi, uh, uh, who came yesterday? Fine. What is the answer? Ismuhu Usama. His name is. Now we can. Ismuhu is two words. Mudaf Mudafili, Mubtada, Mudaf Mudafili. And where is the khabar? Usama. Very good. Huwa tawilun jiddan. How will you translate, Brother Hassan? He is very tall. Huwa muftada tawilun khabar. What is jiddan? Mafulun mutlak. Okay? Tawilun. If the naat comes, it has to be marfu. This is mansu. Now, we are going to learn in book 3 all these things, but... Let us get used to pinpointing mafulun mutlak, inshallah. Alaysa kazalika? Alaysa kazalika? What is the meaning of it? Isn't that so? Isn't that so? Alaysa kazalika? Isn't that so? Bala. We are going to learn about this also. You see, before we used to say Naam and La. Now we are going to say Bala also. Okay. When there is a question in negation, 
What did I say? When the question in negation is asked, and if the answer is in affirmation, then you say, Bala. It will be explained in the book, inshallah. But when you hear the negation in the question, huh? isn't that so? Then you say, Bala. Of course. You know, Bala. Okay? But only when the answer is in affirmation. Okay? Huwa tawilun jiddan. What is it, brothers and sisters? Huwa tawilun jiddan. He is, of course, very tall. But now we come to, wa lakinna. What is lakinna? Min akhwatu inna. So lakinna will have its ism mansub and its khabar marfu. Huh? Lakinna hamidan. What is it? Lakinna Hamidan. So what is Hamidan? Why is it Mansub, brother? Ismu Lakinna. See, didn't we say in the beginning of our course that if there is a Marfu or Mansub or Majroob, there has to be a reason for it. So what is the reason for Hamidun becoming Hamidan? Because it is coming as a Ismu Lakinna. Lakinna is Min Akhwatu Inna. Fine, brother and sister. Lakinna Hamidan. Where is the khabar of Lakinna? Atwalu. Atwalu again. Okay. One word. Khabar. Atwalu. Minhu. What is Minhu? We are expert in Minhu. Jar Majru. Khalas. Huh? Now, when Atwalu Min came, then the Atwalu became your comparative degree. Huh? Lakinna Hamidan. Atwalu Minhu. But the Hamid is taller than him. Minhu here means than him. Are you with me? Minhu means than him. Atwalu minhu means taller than him. Innahu, oh ho ho, innahu, but inna, harfu taqidu and nasbin. And what is who? Ismo inna, now we should have a khabar inna. Where is our khabar inna? Atwalu. Okay. Now, Atwalu Talibin. Now here it is mudafili. Now when you see the construction like Atwalu Talibin, then it is a superlative degree. When it was min, it was comparative degree. Now it is superlative degree. Uh, how will you translate? Uh, uh, how will you translate sister Arifa? Innahu atwalu talibin fi faslina. He is the tallest student in our class. Are you with me? He is the tallest student in our class. This is Ali's class, huh, brother and sister. Huh? Huh? Hamid is the tallest student in Ali's class. What about, then he's asking, وَمَنْ أَتَوَلُّ طَالِبٍ فِي فَسْلِكُمْ Translate brother. Who is the tallest student? See, أَتَوَلُّ طَالِبٍ Superlative degree now. Huh? Who is the tallest student in your class? What is Ahmad saying? أَتَوَلُّ طَالِبٍ فِي فَسْلِنَا Ibrahim. So أَتَوَلُّ طَالِبٍ The tallest student. Where is Mubtada? Brother. Where is Muftada? Atwalu. Huh? Atwalu is Muftada. Wa huwa mudaf. And then mudaf ilayhi. And then brother and sister, do you see any other noun which is marfu? Ibrahimu is your khabar. Uh, and what is this? Fi faslina. How many words are there? Three. So this is jar majur mudaf mudaf ilayhi. Uh,